everybody and welcome back to another video. So as stated before, this video is going to be on the best settings possible for low-end systems and how to get the best experience on RDR1 on the Ryajinx emulator. So these are the settings that work best for me. Vulkan as the renderer, multi threading on auto, shader or cache is also enabled along with HLE. Resolution is the most important part, using a custom one by setting value to 0.8. Make sure to write in points value rather than the full value. FSR is on 30, no post processing is enabled, anisotropic filtering is on auto, and 16 by 9 ratio for widescreen. One last step is to enable VSync by left clicking over here to get constantly stable FPS and reduce fluctuation. Now let us move on to the gameplay part and see if we can get stable frame rates. When you're out of the ranch and on the countryside, the FPS is much smoother. As you head towards the ranch or maybe populated and dense areas, the FPS drops a little bit, but it's not too bad. Anyways, this is where I end my part. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. You can skip to the mission by clicking on timestamp below. Hope this video helps you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. like birds. Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> take the driver's seat. Come on. Looking much better, considering you were almost buzzer food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. 
What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. How well do you know New Austin? I don't. We talked about coming down here many times, but never made it. Who's we? Me and the folks I used to used to work with. Yeah, New Austin. The last real outlaw country. Where the old ways still hold true. You do a man wrong, he'll shoot you for it. You do a man right? Well, he still may shoot you for it. But at least you have an idea of what's right and what's wrong there. Dear, oh dear, Mr. Marston. What dreadful novel did you get that romanticized drivel out of? Those days are long gone, if they were ever here at all. According to Paul, those days were just people shooting each other because they lost the cards. We'll be lucky if our ranch survives another five years. Businessmen are the new cowboys. You look like a man who's been through the mill. Uh, thank you. I mean, you've lived some life. I'm 27 years old and I have rarely left Hennigan's stead. Although many years ago, we did briefly employ a French governess. Well, I think she was French. She said she was French, but she spoke Russian. That was when Paul thought I would become a lady. A change of pasture doesn't always make for a fatter calf. I know, and I wouldn't change my life for all the money in the world. I'm just saying, sometimes I wish I'd been, well, braver. Been to more places, seen more things. If you ask me, it usually takes more strength to stay than to run, Miss McFarland. I always enjoy a trip to Armadillo. Sure is a pleasant journey. It used to be such a nice town, before that gang started helling around the place, causing all that trouble. Shaking down the local merchants, kidnapping, and worse. That's what I heard. It's a terrible shame, if you ask me. And there's not a man with the gravel in his gizzard to stand up to them. What about the marshal? Well, he's doing what he can with what he's been given, I suppose. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. How would Armadillo get by without me? Hi there. You need something for that gout? My goodness. Any meds, laudanum, adrenaline, or pills? Come see me. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. 
You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Get that information off the wire service. 